So, uh, pumpnews.org and uh, CUA Pump Radio here with uh, Lifetime in Washington, D.C. Gonna go ahead and just uh, everybody from the band introduce themselves briefly. I'm Ari. I'm Dave. Peter. Dan. Scott. Alright, guys, first of all, um, out, new album just came out this week. What are, you, what are your overall impressions on the album versus, you know, your? it's obviously your first album in, you know, 10 plus years. What's your overall impression on the album from coming from, you know, 10 plus years? That's the impression right there. <laughs> what about like the song? It's a stunned song. Yeah. It just came out today, right? So we were kind of, or yesterday. Tuesday. Tuesday. So one note. We saw it today for the first time. We saw it today for the first time. We actually got copies of this record today, whereas other people got to earlier. <laughs> on that subject, on that. yeah. How, how do you how do you guys feel about about album weekend in general? You know, I mean, there's different bands have different responses. Some think, well, we want our music out there. Some say, hey, we don't. You know, we're trying to make some damn money. You know, obviously it's not about the money, but you know, you don't want to. How do you guys feel? I mean, you guys go ahead and put it in your words. I wish there were a more tactical way to be correct. Whatever that would be, I'm still thinking. Yeah. I like to be in control of the leaking. The worst part about leaking, really, this is true, is like that we control our music all the time. We try to, we write every part, we do everything about it, and then suddenly we release it, and, and it's out of our control. Yeah. And it's nice when at least you release it, but at least schedule it's out of control at that point. When you're not in control of that, sometimes it can be a little upset. So. Yeah. You know, I agree. I think <laughs> people that leak records, like, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of weasels in the world. But I'm like people that are people that are like leaking someone's record. I, I fail to see how it's not malicious when you're leaking someone's record three months out. Maybe some reviews want to share. What about those that download it though? How do you feel about that? The downloaders, they're they download feel like just, just as okay or for just as malicious. Like you were talking about the people that actually leak the records? Physically, but what about like the other people that download? I mean, if you're on welfare and you download a record for free, I can back it. Wait, oh. that's like minimum wage, like below the poverty line. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. But otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you're, you are kind of a weasel. I mean, you know, every indie label, I don't care what you do with with Justin Timberlake's record, but every indie label this year had to lay off half their staff from Fat Records yep. on down to J-Tree. And it's because y'all are downloading records for free instead of buying them. Stop all the downloads! <laughs> I, no, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like, I'm serious. celebrate the cause, but it's like, I mean, I, a lot of times I think, I know it's an entirely different world, like, than what we grew up with, and I hear like a lot of 15 year old, 16 year old kids that actually feel like entitled to be able to find a record for free, and, and people actually sound kind of like, I'm shocked and outraged when they can't yeah. A, find something in advance, and B, find it for free. And I don't think, I mean, art's not free. Sorry. Yeah. It, it kind of takes away from the whole feeling of, you know, like, like Super Tuesday. I mean, you know, I... I grew up waiting for Tuesday every, you know, every week for something great to come out. You'd go to your local store, you'd see the board, what's coming out, and you'd get stoked and you'd wait and wait. You don't buy it. Yeah, maybe you get a comp, maybe you get a comp with a song off of it, and you'd get even more stoked. But I mean, now it's, you know, obviously kids just get in advance, and you know they're critiquing it, what three weeks before, three months before it comes out, and you know, it, it is a little ridiculous. Um, speaking of, you know, then and now, the songs on it, it sounds. It sounds just like where you guys left off. I mean, I don't, I can't, I can't really tell a difference other than production value. I can't tell a difference. Which I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you, Ari. Your voice on this obviously sounds a little more different than what, what we're accustomed to live. Um, at least in my opinion. And that's that's not that's not a knock. It's no, just no, it no. sounds different. <laughs> so, um, what do you, what are your impressions on production value and vocals? Um, this album maybe versus past records. Do you see a difference? Well, I think I, I've sounded different on every single thing I've ever done. Yeah. Like, I think I, my voice is always kind of changing. And, uh, and yeah, when you're in the studio, you know, you get you get a lot of chances to get it right. And uh, you're going for, you're not trying to prove to the world necessarily that you can do it, but you want to get a good performance in the song and you want it to, like, you know, 
convey something. So you build that in the studio. But like live, yeah, man, live's a whole other world. Sometimes yeah. it's good, sometimes it isn't so good. <laughs> yeah. Um, again, on the topic of the new record and kind of staying with that theme, I think a lot of people were really expecting with this record to to almost have, you know, some people thought it was going to be, you know, nothing but poppy, new sounding stuff that wasn't anything like Lifetime. And then obviously everyone's, you know, pleased, you know, when it doesn't, when it's when it sounds like old Lifetime. But I think personally, I thought that there was going to be maybe one song on there that was that radio friendly hit. And Mr. <laughs> Mr. On, Mr. Mr. Ian, this <laughs> question's for you. This question's for you. What did I do to deserve? I got a, I got a question. I made like Yeem's, a Yeem's, and he Yeem's, what is it? Uh, is it Yeem's, Yeem, Yeem's song about nothing? Yeem's song for nothing? Yeah. That track starts out sounding very like almost poppy. It has kind of a bouncy feel to it. And when I first started hearing, it, I was like, "Yeah, this is gonna be that one song." See? And then and suddenly it's, it's hardcore song. Yes, yes. Is that was that gotcha. purpose? Was that purpose? <laughs> was that purposeful? Was that purposeful? Was that purposely done? Uh, no. No, so, you know, that song, we, we were rearranging that song up to the last minute. I think the last rehearsal before, the last rehearsal before we went into the studio, we were like, we were originally ending with that part, you yeah. know, but it was like another typical Lifetime song, like fast part, fast part, and then like, like, you know, like, like Kali Anthem at the end, and you know, you can't, I'm the worst when it comes to following formula, like, if it weren't for all these guys, like, for, like half the songs would follow the same form and then, like the last practice before we went in the studio, Steve was there, Evans was there with us. We were like, oh let's instead of ending like this, why don't we start with it? And then we'll end with this like super quick fast one. So we totally flipped it around and then I don't think any of us had any idea what the vocals sounded like in that song until until it was mixed. It was done. It worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, it's not so it wasn't deliberate, but I'm glad it had that effect. Just, yeah. I actually realized that driving up here, I was. I was you thought we were going to do some bullshit like that. <laughs> oh, I expected one song. One song. Yeah. I, just, I mean, there's always pop. Yeah. Like, yeah. Pop. yeah. Pop. Oh, We've been a pop band from the as soon as, like, once Ari learned how to sing, we were a pop band. Right? Still up. Still up. What was that? Once Ari learned how to sing last week. Speaking of the song. <laughs> 